Hello and welcome to your brand new video. With the current things going on in the old school RuneScape community, I thought it'd be a perfect time to make this video. I was actually going to make it two months ago when a load of you guys seen in a stream that I have a five digit old school RuneScape password and you guys were all thinking, this boy's crazy, he's definitely going to get hacked. He has like a 300 mil bank and a five digit password, somebody's going to get onto his account. But I explained to some of you guys in the comments that I have an unhackable RuneScape account. Nobody but me will ever get into this RuneScape account for a few reasons. I'm going to explain them in this video. And then at the end of the video, after explaining how to create an unhackable account, I'm going to show you guys how to secure your current accounts. You can never make a current account as safe as this kind of account that I'm going to show you how to make. But you can make your account extremely safe. You really should not be able to get hacked in this modern day and age. A lot of you guys have authenticator on and can still get hacked. So I'm going to explain that as well. Because some of you guys think if you have authenticator on, you have a bank pin, you have all that stuff enabled, you'll never have any chance of getting hacked. That's not true. It depends what kind of email account you have and if you have authenticator turned on that email. Because there are two real vulnerabilities in old school RuneScape. Your email, if somebody gets in there, it does not matter what you have set up in your RuneScape account. They can just cancel it all get onto your account and your login so we're going to start with making an unhackable account right here we go creating an unhackable runescape account it's very simple whenever you click new user on the jetx login thing it'll bring you over to this page and it'll ask you for an email address if you give them an email address that is a hacker's best thing they can use that email to try and recover your account so what I'm going to tell you to do here is a bit strange, but you want to give them a login. So back when RuneScape was created back in the day to create an account, you would have a username and a password. You would not have an email address, but Jetix changed the system a few years ago because loads of people had problems recovering their accounts if they forgot their password. And they had over 200 million accounts in the servers, which meant loads of new players would come. They'd put in loads of variations of usernames to try and create an account and they would all be taken. So it would actually put new players off if they cannot create a username, which is pretty crazy. But what I'm gonna tell you is to do here is create a username login that is not your email address. Now, Jetix makes this so you cannot actually do that unless it's an email format. So let me explain how to do this. All you need is an email format username. So it just needs to have an at sign in it and a full stop. That is all it has to have to create this here login. That's what their servers are looking for. So what you wanna do is create a login here that meets this here criteria. So let's put, let's go for don't at hackme um, dot c because you don't actually have a dot com you can put whatever you want in here it does not matter anything at anything dot anything whatever you want you put in here and you never tell anybody this login you never show anybody this login if nobody has this nobody can access the manual recovery page on runescape which means nobody will ever be able to manually recover your account so this here one step removes 50 percent of the risk with getting hacked in the future in old school runescape if nobody has your login nobody can ever access that page so i'm just going to create this account to show you the next step put in whatever you want here put in a password put in your date of birth or fake date of birth if you want but just write it down that's not mine but make sure you remember what you've written because if you ever need to manually recover the account which you shouldn't this makes it extremely difficult to get hacked this here info might help you out so we'll create this account and then i'm going to show you there is one more step in this process that is different from creating a regular account go through this wee thing here You've just created a RuneScape account with a pretty strange login that nobody's ever going to know, but there's a bit of a problem. It is going to try to email that fake email to register your account, which you're obviously not going to get. So you need to go to runescape.com, click up here in the top right on account, go to login, what I put the password as, oh yeah. Now, once you've logged in, you'll click on email and communication preferences. This looks very complicated, but all takes about two minutes. As you can see, it just tried to email that fake email address that I just made up with this here username. What you want to do is click cancel request and then enter your real email address. Register your real email address or a brand new email address to this here account. And then it is super safe. The only way anybody will ever get on this account now is not with your username and password because nobody should ever know your username. It's not with manual recovery on Jetix side, which means, yeah, you're very, very safe already, but now we need to secure your email address. So how a load of people get hacked at the minute is by having unsecure email addresses. A load of people think if you have two-step authenticator turned on, authenticator and all on Jetix side, you're 100% safe, but some email accounts are much less safe than others. Let me give you an example here. If you create a Yahoo email account a couple of years ago, all you needed to recover that account is some very basic recovery questions. 
people could get these answers within a couple of days of talking to you or they could go on Facebook and probably get them all within a couple of hours. So if you have an old Yahoo account that still has recovery questions on it, it is not secure in any way, shape or form. Gmails are much safer because they're much more modern actually. If you create a new Yahoo account right now, a new email address, it will actually ask for your phone as soon as you go to sign up. So the new Yahoo accounts are actually okay, but old Yahoo accounts, old AOL accounts, there's probably hundreds of old email accounts set up with this kind of recovery system that are not secure. What really sucks is you cannot go on these old email addresses and remove the question. So if you have this old kind of setup, you guys know if you have it, your account's not secure and you cannot make that email address 100% secure. You need to create a new email address. So. I've seen a load of guys slating JetX saying, oh, it's their fault people are getting hacked. JetX cannot do anything about people's email addresses. They can only add stuff on their server side. If your vulnerability is on your email side, it's your own responsibility. JetX cannot implement anything to make that account more secure. So there's two little tricks you can add into RuneScape to make your account never get hacked. If this helps one viewer, then this video has been worthwhile. So I hope some of you guys will maybe look at your setup. If you have an old email address, just make a new one, no problem. If you're creating a new RuneScape account in the future, use that little trick I showed you and then nobody will be able to use your email address to get into your account on JetX side. Hope this video has helped you guys out and hope you have learned something. I'm actually gonna do a wee one or two minutes here an update on yesterday's video. So for any of you guys who didn't see yesterday's video, I basically intercepted a hacker drop trading a load of items off this dude's account onto his level three mule. Really crazy time, and I just finished his ami trip. I teleported with the minigame teleport to pest control, picked up a load of random items, but look what was on the floor here. You already know if you've seen the video, but picked up all this stuff, and then a second pile appeared, and I picked up a dragon war armor, like 65 mils worth of items. But since I put this video up, Puss and Boots, this guy who actually owns the big account that got hacked, has sent me a message in game, claiming to be him, it could still be the hacker. And I said, oh, I'll give you some of the items back if you can prove that you own the account. So I thought the best way is if you send me some like level up screenshots from Runelight, it automatically saves them on your computer. He actually used Rune, no, what is that other one called? He actually used RS Buddy, but it still saves screenshots, but I think he'd like formatted his computer or maybe he was the hacker. He couldn't send me the screenshots anyway, so I couldn't help him out. But he was really cool, he was really chilled about it. He showed me all the like placeholders, everything he lost. He lost like 230 mil. So we just got the end of it, the 65 mil from the Warhammer and all that. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys an update. People are still getting hacked nowadays on old school RuneScape. The way to stop it is never click on a siphon link, never log into a page that might be RuneScape. If you have any doubts, just click on the address bar at the top, put runescape.com, then you know you're on the official one. Never log into anything if you ask me, and never look at your emails from JetX, because you don't really need to, they're never that interesting, in my opinion, and if you are gullible, you will get siphed that way. Siphes the number one way people get hacked, the other way is having a non-secure email, and the last way is manual recovery, so we've covered all three of them. If you follow these steps, you will never get hacked in old school RuneScape, so I really hope this video helps some of you guys out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the big clam war video coming very soon. So yeah, thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.